What is up guys, Blackheart Tech here and today I want to talk about Xbox Project Scorpio. Mainly talking about how powerful it is and what it compares to. So the Xbox Project Scorpio has been announced and it is going to release sometime around the holidays in 2017. Now let's talk about how strong it is. So first off, let's take a look at the GPU. Now it has 6 teraflops of processing power. Now if we only consider the teraflops, which is obviously not the main source of computational power, but looking only at teraflops, it fares pretty well compared to the RX 480, which runs at 5.5 teraflops. The Xbox Project Scorpio runs at 6 teraflops, and the rumored teraflops of the PlayStation Neo are 4.6. It also has 56 to 60 GCN compute units running at 850 megahertz. This is up from 12 on the Xbox One. 12 on the Xbox One also ran at around 830 to 850 megahertz. And the PlayStation 4 Neo is set to have 36 GCN compute units running at 911 megahertz. So it's quite a bit faster than the PlayStation 4 Neo. It's also 3 teraflops slower than the GTX 1080 which everyone is talking about these days. Now let's talk about the CPU. Now we do not know much about the CPU but from speculation I'm going to assume it's going to be something close to the PlayStation Neo's which is an 8 core clocked at around 2 to 2.1 gigahertz. It is going to be using the Jaguar architecture which the current consoles are using. So this is complete speculation but this is the most likely CPU. On the memory side of things, the memory bandwidth is 320 gigabytes per second. Now using this information we can speculate that the Xbox Scorpio is probably gonna have somewhere around 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Unless they use the current ES RAM which is running on the Xbox One, in which case they can probably get away with less. In conclusion, the Xbox Project Scorpio is gonna deliver 4K gaming at 30 FPS. It also is gonna deliver 1080p at 60 FPS if they allow you to do it, and it's gonna be really, really easy to do 1080p 60 FPS on almost any game on the market right now. The GPU power would be somewhere between the R9 390X and the GTX Titan X. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to leave a like, it helps me out quite a lot, subscribe to this channel and also leave a comment down below on how you think the Xbox Project Scorpio could change gaming and your opinions on the Xbox Project Scorpio if you will be picking one up, I definitely want to know. Blackheart Tech, signing off.